Across the northwestern province of Xinjiang, an estimated one million Chinese Muslims have vanished into a vast network of detention centers for what China calls re-education. Lessons in laws and loyalty to the state, how Beijing claims it will prevent extremism in a region it considers vulnerable. Only recently did China admit the camps even existed, the hallmark of an advanced police state in Xinjiang that targets Uyghur Muslims, a minority the government blames for unrest and a string of attacks. Satellite imagery shows a changed landscape. In one area empty two years ago, a facility covering 5.6 million square feet. We tried to see it firsthand, but were followed by Chinese security agents. At one point, tailed by four cars. We were detained and ordered back. First, they told us the road was closed. Then they said it was too windy for us to go any further. Across the border in Kazakhstan, we met former detainees who gave detailed accounts of persecution inside the camps. Karat Samarkand says he was confined for nearly four months. They brainwash us, he says. No one is there by choice. He says they were punished for speaking and forced into restraint devices and stress positions for hours. And the scale of the dragnet worries Uyghurs abroad, who say relatives can disappear just for having a beard or WhatsApp messaging on a phone. They want to erase Muslims, says this Uyghur woman in hiding. Rights groups say the mass internment evokes the cultural revolution, but Beijing maintains that it's humane, justified and legal. Janice Mackey Freyer, NBC News, Xinjiang. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.